Hello everyone and welcome to PNK TV, your number one stop to information and entertainment. Kindly consider to subscribe to stay informed on what is trending in the country. Now, Ken Wakuraya Inoro TV news presenter has been exposed badly by Wairimo Kemani on her Facebook page for being a deadbeat father. It is said that Ken Wakuraya impregnated his house help then in 2015 and refused to be a responsible father. The lady left to live alone and after the delivery, she called Ken for a meeting. Ken lied to her and upon reaching him, Ken was off. She called him with a new number. Ken answered and blamed her for not terminating the pregnancy. That's when she was blocked. Let me read out her explanation on this and I quote. In 2015, I was working in Roy Sambu Milema where Ken was staying in which he had issues with his wife in Jerry, where even they could not share bedroom. I was taking care of their daughter, known as Nasserian Wakuraya. Ken's wife used to go work early in the morning, leaving the three of us in the house. That is Ken, me, and the baby Nasserian. The wife, the departure of Ken's wife was a worry to me because Ken could come start touching me anyhow, telling me to sleep with him. I ignored him in any way possible, but it reached a day where he found me in the kitchen, warming his bath in water, and he had only wrapped himself a towel. That's where he held me tightly, insisting to sleep with me. I wasn't willing to, but I just requested him to protect himself, and he did it. But in the process, it got damaged and assured me that I was safe, and I was afraid of sharing this the, to the wife. In two weeks' time, I started feeling unwell and went to a chemist where I was shocked of me being pregnant. I went back to the house and immediately told him I wasn't safe as he had told me. And his reply was that he wanted no child with me and he had a family. That's where I got afraid and went started raising the pregnancy in which I told his wife I don't work. And I remember to the initial stage, Naken's sister who used to visit and after delivery, I called him Akanidanganya to meet the coming week. But when the time Aliokua Amesema Ilipofika, he was off for a week. That's where I called him with another number. And after the pick, he answered me why I gave birth and I told him I could not have terminated. That's when I got blocked by him. And from that time, I have been sending messages of explaining the child's health and he used to read and not answer. I have been in search of him, but he is not to avail. I just don't know how it will be with us struggling alone without Ken's help as a father. Ken's wife was from Lemuru and Ken's sister was known as Wangari. Then there is a helpline there for Mpesa number. That's what she had to say. And also, she sent out some videos with him and the baby where she said that the baby has a condition rather that is known as cerebral palsy. Now you are up to date. Don't forget to subscribe to Stan on post notification so that you get notified whenever we upload a new story and be the first one to watch.